in Psalm 124, verse 7. Psalm 124, verse 7, the Bible says, Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we are escaped in Jesus' name. May that snare be broken today in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, gang of winches and wizards assigned to torture me for the offense I did not commit. Fire of God, kill them. Fire of God, kill them. In the name of Jesus, gang of winches and wizards assigned to torture me for the offense I did not commit. Fire of God, kill them. Fire of God, kill them. Gang of winches and wizards assigned to torture my life for the offense I did not commit. Fire of God, kill them in Jesus' name. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV and Evangelist Joshua Animals TV. Can you subscribe to my channel? Can you subscribe today? Today's topic is dream of police and cuffed someone. Dream of police and cuffed someone. And cough in dreams symbolizes arrest, delay, punishment, hardship, trouble. Did you see police and cuff someone in the dream? If yes, the meaning can relate to struggle, restriction, imprisonment, denial of progress. However, if you see someone being uncuffed in a dream, the meaning can be relating to you or someone else. If police uncuff someone in the dream, then it portends a serious case or trouble to come. You must be prayerful to counsel that setup that is coming or that troubles that is coming. Obviously, someone may begin to find it hard to prosper with his hands again. Why? Because that hands have been tied in the realm of the spirit. The devil has actually tied the glory of someone's hand in the dream. The person will be working hard but no progress. The person will be doing something but no achievement in his life. This type of dream can also bring hindrances, resisting your breakthrough, causing delays, frustration, disappointment, and failure at the edge of breakthrough or suffering. The dream of someone being anchored could represent delay in some parts of your plans or projects you are about to undo or you are handling. Maybe there's something that is restricting your freedom in your working life. Maybe there's someone who is restricting you from engaging in a certain activity or hindering you from fulfilling that purpose for yourself. To see someone being anchored in the dream spiritually, it means satanic punishment has been assigned against that person. However, you need to be extra careful in the upcoming period because there's a problem that may land you or someone into the net of the police. If you are doing an illegitimate business or you are out there to scam people or you are there to break the law of a state or you are there to cause trouble in the society, even in the working life, you may find police arresting you in no time. Remove your hands from that dirty deal and live a clean life because the police will soon come after you or after someone you know. Be very, very careful. If police handcuff you or someone in the dream, this may be a warning sign from God telling you to be more conscious about the things you do in the waking life and the type of friends you keep. When a person is being handcuffed in the dream, there will be slow progress, difficulties or struggle. However, such a person is currently in the captivity of the wicked or being oppressed by the devil. If you see someone you know being handcuffed by the police in the dream, pray for that person intercede for him or her because it is a sign that the ways of that person the ways of that person is not clean and the police may visit him or the police may arrest him in some days if it's, it's a, your brother if it's somebody that you know you need to pray for him or you need to share this revelation to him policemen will never handcuff or arrest when there's no foul report about you because many people who had this dream always discover there's problem there's one problem or the other in their life. I want to urge you to pray hard this time because this dream could also be telling you that someone's life is in the cage of the wicked. Somebody's life is in the cage of the wicked. The, the, the person's career is being destroyed and thereby making life difficult for you or, the, or for that person. Until you are delivered from satanic policemen, you will continue to experience this type of dream. However, if the police lose the anchor from that person's hand or from your hands in the dream, it means freedom. And deliverance from evil captivity some areas of your life where you are being delayed you begin to notice gradual progress praise the living jesus be prayerful and do not be far away from god during this time in jesus name if you lose the anchor or someone lose that anchor from his hand then it means getting yourself free from bondage god is working out your deliverance from that curse upon your life in jesus name having this type of dreams means your goals will be aborted 
and impossible to achieve. It can mean the devil will subject a person's life to mockery and shame, to bring dishonor in his life, to bring rejection, to bring a toiling spirit, to bring long-term affliction, to bring the spirit of non-achievement. Perhaps you are living a life of no visible progress at all in your life and age is weighing you down as a child of God. Perhaps you are making move towards your goals, toward the achievement of your glory, but no progress in your life. You discover anything you touch doesn't work out for you anymore. As Paul and Silas do in the prison, you need to use that prayer strategy to break that demonic chains, tying down the glory of your hands in Jesus' name. You need to pray to reverse the curse or embargo placed upon your hand. You need to pray for God to restore the glory of your hands, denied or taken by the enemy or strong man. Whoever that is holding your destiny down in life, may heaven deal with them today in Jesus' name. So if you see someone you know being anchored in the dream, if the person way is not pure, you can use this privilege to pray for God to give him a repentant heart. Otherwise, the person may find himself in the prison. However, if you feel this dream is being related to you in some ways, kindly do some cost breaking prayers with these Bible verses. Psalm 124 verse 7, Genesis chapter 12 verse 3, Proverbs chapter 3 verse 33, John chapter 8 verse 36, and lastly Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 to 15. Close your eyes, take this prayer point. Say, every evil chain, tying down my hands, break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every evil chain, tying down my hands, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire. Every evil chain, tying down my hands, break by fire in Jesus' name. Say, every satanic policeman assigned to delay my destiny, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic policeman assigned to delay my destiny, die by fire in Jesus' name. Say, every cause of rising and falling, operating in my life, break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every cause of rising and falling, operating in my life, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, say every power attacking my life with evil signs, cast fire in the name of Jesus. Every power attacking my life with evil signs, cast fire in the name of Jesus. Every power attacking my life with evil signs, cast fire in Jesus' name. Say, by the blood of Jesus, I break every chain, injuring my progress in the name of Jesus. I am free today. I am free today in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I break every chain of the wicked, injuring my progress. I break it. I break it. Every chain of the wicked upon my leg, upon my hands, upon my neck, I break it. I break it. The yoke of the enemy shall be broken. By the reason of the anointing, I break that yoke. I break that yoke. I break that yoke. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray you are free from that demonic bondage, from that causes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to friends and family. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe today. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.